Hey people, this is Steve from Hash Talk Guide and today in this video we're going to talk about how you can change your rate per ether for your crowd sale when you launched it using the ICO wizard and we're going to do this by using a extra data method ID in MetaMask by sending it to the flat price and extension contract. Um, now before we get started, uh, I just want to go over with you this, this nice little you know, debit card website I just found. Um, I think I'm going to switch over to this one. I've been using BitPay. I'm going to try this one out, see how it is. Uh, it does cost $17 to buy the, the plastic debit card that you use offline. You know, you can use it anywhere Visa is accepted in, in your convenience store or whatever. But uh, the, if you use my link in the description below, uh, you get 25% off the $17. So uh, it's cheap to get a plastic card. It's got the chip in it. Uh, you, you can uh, put your Bitcoin in there and when you go make a purchase, it it uses the current price of Bitcoin and automatically converts it to well, uh, U.S. dollars at the purchase. So, uh, you know, you go in a store, you buy something, and it automatically works. Um, it does it all for you. you. You don't need to go to exchange and sell your Bitcoins. Uh, it just works. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description. And before we get started, also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, click subscribe and uh, this is the debit card website I was talking about um, you know to, to get the, the debit card cost point zero zero one two three four BTC which uh, total you know ends up being 17 US dollars but like I said you sign up with my affiliate link you get 25% off of that and you get a digital card uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't have it yet I just signed up myself but uh, the I guess you also get a digital number where you can use you know yeah, on online stores I believe like Visa all right but let's get started uh, here's the crowd sale I'm using it's on the main network and as you can see right now that you get a hundred tokens per F uh, I just had I just had this at 2500 I switched it to 100 and now uh, I'm going to show you how you can switch this to 1000 tokens per 1F. Um, at the search ICO wizard and go to the GitHub, Oracle's GitHub, <coughs> and the change rate on the wiki, scroll down the bottom, and it basically tells you how to do it. You need to convert the, the amount for one token. So uh, at a hundred, well, a thousand is uh, one, and then fifteen zeros afterwards. So using the example that's already there, uh, it's, it's just easier to show. So you, you take whatever it costs for one token. So one thousand tokens for one F, and it costs you know, point zero zero one we where that that's the name of the the token when it's not one whole ether the decimals. So we copy that and I'll leave the link for the a good decimal to hex converter. You go here, copy it in there, and then you get your hex encoded output right here. Copy that. I usually do it in the URL area. So what you gotta do is you, you take whatever's here and whatever this and then you add zeros to make it 32 bytes. And one byte is two characters, like two bits. So, uh, you know, zero, 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 that's three bits right there. <clears throat> so what I do is I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, 
And then I double check. Total is 64 characters here. That's 32 bytes. And then you take on step four, you take this data bit right here, these bytes right here, that starts with 0x, and you put this in front of your, six, your 32 bytes. And this is what you're going to send as the extra data in MetaMask. Now in MetaMask, make sure it is the contract owner. Now, uh, I made the same mistake uh, when you're creating a crowd sale. Try not to switch over to different accounts while you're reserving tokens and forget to switch back to the one that you started the ICO with. Because in Web3, when you first go to the website, um, we'll go to the website right here. When you first go to the ICO Wizard main page, it registers your your con your your address MetaMask has open. You'll notice if you don't have MetaMask, it won't sh it, it'll pop up with an error message saying you don't have MetaMask installed, because at this very moment, it takes your address that started right here. So say you go to CrowdSale, you know you start right here. You start adding tokens. If you want to add more than just your one address, I've done it plenty of times, right? You go here, you click on a different account, and you go, and then you forget to click back to your original one that you were on. Um, sometimes you have money in both accounts, sometimes you don't, but if you do, um, I've made the mistake plenty of times. It could happen, and you, you wonder why it's not working. Um, I, I don't know if it really makes a difference. Um, as long as you make sure on the next step you have the right multi-sig wallet. But, uh, yeah. Always make sure you go back to the, the wallet that you want to use while doing it. <coughs> Alright, so back to this. This is the data we're going to send. And if you look, this is the the file structure you get with the ICO wizard. This is a basic single tier contract. And, you know, if you make it modifiable, you can make a single tier contract uh, a, a three level ICO, a pre ICO token sale, or, you know, two, two step pre ICO. Or, or you can have a, a bonus, a daily bonus uh, differential. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just gotta send it manually. But it's still possible. Uh, you just gotta send a transaction every day with the, the same price, the price that you want. And every day can be a new bonus for people. Alright, so th this is the, the file structure. You need to get your, fi your flat price and extension address so that's mine right there so what you do is you open metamask click send um, the data that we copied goes right here and then post the pricing contract address right there and you send the amount of zero And right now it's about a dollar to change the rate of your token sale. Now uh, to find out the price of you know one ether uh, of one token, say you get a, a range uh, like I have four thousand to one. You know you can, I, I'll leave the link to this also. It's a algebra uh, calculator. So, uh, oops. basically, you can just do one decimal and then 18 zeros 
divided by whatever amount of tokens you want per one ether. And then it'll give you the decimal amount here. But you gotta take off whatever these ones are. You just need the one and then whatever how many zeros after. But just make sure there's 18 decimals in the end. So you could do is just post that up there. There's three right there. Make sure you get the 18, but then you just delete the zeros and the point in front of there. And this is the number you take to the hex converter. So I'll leave these two links in the description, and I'll also leave the link to the uh, ICO Wizard uh, wiki for you guys. So it should be switched by now. See, so right now you see it's at 100 tokens per one ether, and switch to a thousand. And that's how you switch, uh, that's how you change the rate per ether when you deploy your contracts through I Oracle's ICO Wizard. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter. Even join my Facebook group if you get a chance. Um, please use my affiliate links in the description. Uh, all my links will always be safe to click. click. And, uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.